Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you how I help my Pomeranian grow his hair back. It's been a 10 month journey and I've been waiting for a long time to share this journey with you. So if you are also a dog parent and you shave your dog and you find out that their hair is not growing back, don't lose hope. You're in the right place. So watch this video and I will share all my tips and how to help your puppy and grow their hair back. Look at Momo now. His hair has fully grown back. Look at this. Look at this. Ta-da! So let's talk about why it happened. Why Momo was shaped like that? Because we were a first time fur parents and we don't really know how to shave a dog so we think like maybe we should take him to the groomer and just let the professional do their job and the thing is when we took Momo to the groomer I think maybe the whoever took care of Momo maybe the person is also new and they didn't tell us what's the consequence when we shave like that much, like pretty much shave all his hair because it was summer and we were thinking about Momo might feel super hot, it's like 90 degrees, sometimes 100 degrees here. So we were thinking like, well he has that much hair, maybe we should just shave him, shave all the hair so he will feel cooler. The day I still remember when I first picked up Momo, he just looked from a fluffy balls to like super super tiny little tiny dog like it instantly he lost 50 pounds something like that like that kind of feeling but the consequence we didn't realize is after two three months we barely see his hair growing back and that kind of worried me so we started to take him to see a vet and the first vet told us that oh you shave your Pomeranian and then we were like yeah and is there any hope and then the first doctor just told us there's no hope you know like I have a friend who also has a Pomeranian and my friend shaking and my friend was crying in front of me because it's been one one year and her dog's hair has not grown back that sounds kind of discouraging. Me and my husband want to just look for second opinion. So we took him to see another vet and another animal hospital around our area. We got the same answer. I think the doctor also didn't really want to hurt our feeling. And we were saying like, should we try some melatonin? Should we try um, any supplements? Uh, can you give us recommendations? And I even pulled up all the um, supplements, vitamins that is good for Pomeranians to grow their hair back. I showed the list to the, to the vet and I just kind of feel like he just told me like it doesn't hurt to try. It's basically that's what he's saying. So we didn't give up our hope. We still think like what can we do? What can we do to help him grow his hair back? And I still remember I always told my husband in the past I said like sometimes I would just wish God can give us a second chance um, because we're first time dog parents and this is something that we definitely definitely didn't think about and it was our mistake and we tried to make it right so we started to, to move on his diet because before his diet and um, he was eating like dry food and he barely eat it and he became like a very picky dog so we try to think like, should we give him whole food? This is not an advertisement and this is not a sponsor, but I just want to share what we did to help Momo grow the hair back. Just want to say that. If we switch to whole food diets, we were concerned that we couldn't give him enough full nutrients if we just make it from scratch. And then we started to do more research and we find a brand um, called Jazz Food for Dog. And after a um, few months, we decided to give it a try because we, la we waited for a few months because we worried about if we switch to whole food and then the dog will not eat the dry food. It's hard to make the switch. But 
we were just hopeless at the time. So we were just thinking like, okay, it doesn't hurt to try. We started to look into just food for dog. We also find that in the ingredients, just food for dog include the powder and the vitamin powder that is developed by the vet. So that helps and give us a peace of mind. So we started to try that. And also on the supplement side, we find out there's a powder um, called this. I will take the picture here. I find some good positive reviews on Amazon. So I decided to give it a try. And also I mix this powder with a gel. It tastes, maybe it tastes pretty good. That's why Momo likes it. Usually I would take one scoop of powder, mix it with the gel together, and then make it like a cookie dough. And he loves it, he loves it. So the whole process is we change his diet to just food for dog instead of dry food. And then supplements with this powder and gel. And it takes a lot of patience. In the beginning, his hair grow back super, super, super slow at least for the first six months. After the first six months, his hair just grow back like exponentially. And it's just amazing, amazing. So this is a real life experience that we went through. And I know there are a lot of dog parents out there. They still have hope. They still want to help their dog to grow their hair back. And I just want to tell all of you that don't give up because I am here to tell you there's a possibility. Also, please ask the vet to check if your dog has thyroid issue. We exclude it. We check Momo's thyroid issue. There's no issue. His thyroid level is perfectly fine. Make sure to run all the necessary tests first. The last tips that I want to give you is we also supplement with melatonin for a couple months and it does help a little bit. The dosage we use is three milligram. So consult your dog doctor if that's um, okay for your dog too. Oh, one thing that I also want to mention is during his hair growing back, we noticed that each dog might react differently because his hair looks more patchy. His hair first started to grow back from his legs and then slowly moved up, sometimes his neck. And then now he's still, his back still has a little bit patchy part, but it's slowly, slowly growing back. If you notice that your, your dog has patchy hair, but it's growing, that's normal because I think that's just how Pomeranian's gene is. It just takes time and you just have to really to give the patient. It took us six months to really start seeing the changes. So please, please be patient. In the beginning, he finished two bags of that powder and we still didn't really see like significant hair growth back until six months after and i want to tell you that patient patient is very important look at the dog's diet look at what kind of food that your dog is eating it's true that it's a little bit expensive when we switch to just food for dog but think this way our dog is part of our life but for them we are his whole life so we just want to give the best to Momo it's all worth it so this is your hope here I just want to show you if you are also trying to help your dog to grow their hair back don't lose hope look at the diet change the diet supplements with the powder and tips that I just talked about if you have good results don't forget to come back and comment down below so I use this powder one scoop every day with maybe half of the scoop of the gel and then I'll just mix together and then I will mix it until it looks like a cookie dough. So now it looks like this, it looks like a cookie dough and we are going to just break it into small pieces and Momo loves this. Oh sit! Good boy. Good boy. Sit!
good boy. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this helped your dog. Please share this video to someone who is also trying to help to grow their dog's hair back. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. All right, we can shave him now. Just kidding. We're gonna just, just trim him a little bit. It took us six months to really start. <laughs> You're nervous. <laughs>